Hello everyone and welcome to session five of your Microsoft Teams training. In this session we're going to spend a little bit of time looking at the assignments function in Teams and we're going to look specifically at the best ways that you can submit work to your teachers. Now obviously it's really important that you attend every live lesson whilst we're learning online but even more important than that is submitting your work every lesson so that your teacher can give you feedback and is able to check for understanding so that we can carefully plan for next steps, whether that be learning online or whether that be for in a few weeks time when we're back in the academy learning face to face. So in this session, we're going to spend a little bit of time learning about what you can expect from us in terms of setting your work in lessons and what we expect of you in terms of returning that work and submitting that work to us every day. Now, the first thing that you need to learn is how to find your assignments. Now, in each lesson, lots of teachers are doing this already, but as we go through the next few weeks, you'll see our teachers doing this more and more. But in each lesson, you will see teachers set tasks as assignments. Now, this might be a series of small tasks at the beginning of a lesson. It might be actually every task in the lesson set as an assignment so that you have a sequence of activities to work through. It might be that your teacher decides just to set you assignments for the main task that they'd like you to complete. So, for example, if you needed to complete a set of calculations or complete an essay on a particular topic. So your teacher might use assignments in different ways. But essentially, in your live lesson, when you have an activity or a piece of work that your teacher would like you to return, they will set that for you as an assignment. So we're going to start to look at how you find those, but we really want to make sure that you all know how you send the work to your teacher, the best method to do this through the assignments function, and then what we expect from you every lesson and how that will look. So in order to find your assignment, you need to be looking firstly in the right place. So all of the notifications that you receive, whether that be the schedule for your lessons, whether that be communications from your teacher, is all found in your class team. So if you're in a year group like year seven, for example, you might have a specific remote learning group. If you're working in year 11, you might have just your ordinary class team where you would go to find your lessons. So the first thing you need to do is find your class team. So from the home screen, making sure that you're selecting the right class team. Within that team, you have the main channel where there's all different options at the top there that you can see in this example. Now to find your assignments during a lesson, you need to be making sure that you click the posts icon, which is displayed there next to the purple arrow. You need to refresh this page regularly throughout the lesson so that you can see new activities appearing as the lesson progresses. So as your teacher sets you different tasks or would like you to return a specific piece of work, you need to make sure that your posts area is refreshed regularly so you can view any assignments that are set. So the first point there, just making sure that you are in the post section and you are checking that regularly. From that point there, you're gonna to need to upload your works. Now your teacher will give you really clear, explicit instructions about what they expect in terms of the work and how to upload it. So you need to make sure that you're listening carefully to their instructions as they explain that. Now to submit your work during a lesson, you need to make sure you click on the view assignment button in order to upload your work. So if you see that example there, which is an example of an English essay, there's a button there that says view assignment and you'd need to click in there and in there you'll find all the different instructions you need and you'll also see different options for how you can upload. So when instructed, you need to click it on that button into view assignment in order to share your work with your teacher. And it's really important that we're doing that every single day. Now, when you've clicked view assignment, it will give you lots of different options. But the important point here is that you can upload any document or file that you choose. There's almost no limit to the kinds of files that you can upload in this area. The best ways to do this though, are to upload a photo of some written work. So it can be online paper and you can upload a photo, that's fine. You might choose to upload a Word document that you've been working on or any other file type that you've been working with. In the lesson, you'll be able to upload that work to that area for your, for your teacher to see. It's really important that you understand that you can use the best way for you. So it doesn't matter if it's a Word document and it's electronic or it's a photo. It's really important that you just choose the format that best works for you and then submit that to your teacher in the lesson. 
Now, it's really important to understand that we do expect work back in the lesson. So your teacher will set a time limit on your assignment, so on that task that you need to complete that will time out at the end of the lesson. Just like we would in school and in the academy face to face, there are certain pieces of work that you need to complete as part of your learning so that we can check for understanding. And your teacher will set a time limit so that your assignment times out at the end of the lesson. You'll still be able to view it and complete it later, but it's really important that you hand it in on time at the end of the lesson. Some of you might wonder what your teacher can see. So your teacher is able to see a whole range of different things around the work that you're submitting. Your teacher can see a list of students in their class. There's an example there shown by the purple arrow. So they can see the students in their class along with who has viewed the work and who has handed it in, but also who has not handed it in. So you can see on the list there of icons, there's a range of different options there that the teacher can see around the performance of their class. So some students have viewed the assignment, some students have handed it in and some have not. And it's really important that we are then gonna use that function to follow that up and make sure that you're supported and that we get that work in so that we can then check your understanding of key learning during this time. So your teacher will be tracking work that's not handed in and will be making sure that we receive all those really important submissions for marking to make sure that you get consistent feedback but also to make sure that we can check your understanding every day and plan carefully for future live lessons, but also for future learning when you return to the academy. I hope that's helpful and that's made it clear what we expect and good luck with the rest of your learning as we go through the next few weeks.